Howdy, Possum Patty, Little Miss TT, and we're here to do something just a little bit different today. Yeah, I had to go into Walmart the other day to pick up a few things, and you know how when you walk in the store, they have a big seasonal display, and of course, all the Easter goodies were out, and I was walking by, and I stopped and I looked, and I saw the peeps. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all the different flavors of peeps. So I stood there looking and I was, I took a picture. I just could not believe all the flavors of marshmallow peeps. Well, I hope you know what a marshmallow peep is, right? So I took a picture and I walked away and then, I don't know, something made me turn around and go back. So I went back and I'm standing there because I just could not believe all the different flavors. You know, when I was a kid, they had marshmallow peeps. They had yellow marshmallow peeps, right? The yellow marshmallow peeps. And that was a tradition, you know, and I'm a chocolate lover. Chocolate is my fave. But, you know, at Easter time, a peep or two, you know, I enjoy a little bit of marshmallow. And last year, my sister gave me some peppermint peeps and I put them in some hot chocolate. Mmm, that was good. So it was like a combination of getting the peppermint and the marshmallow together in your hot chocolate. So that was really good. Anyway, there's all these different flavors and all these different colors. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at all of the, <laughs> these peeps here. I just can get over the variety of peeps. So I picked out two to try and the first one I picked out was the Dr. Pepper the Dr. Pepper peeps I love the flavor of Dr. Pepper and I usually don't drink it because it has caffeine and I'm not supposed to have a lot of caffeine I like cherry Dr. Pepper even better but th there wasn't any cherry Dr. Pepper unless I take the cherry peeps and the Dr. Pepper peeps and eat them together I don't know how that would work out anyway and I was ready to walk away and I went back and I was like, oh wait, yellow peeps, traditional yellow peeps dipped in chocolate. Yes, <laughs> let's try that one. So I took two and I made myself walk away before I picked out any more flavors, but I just may go back. Maybe, maybe they'll have them on clearance. <laughs> maybe they'll have some left over after Easter and you know Easter candy half off and I'll try a few more flavors but um, yeah so I got those two flavors and I put them in my cart and then for some reason I said let me go around and see what's on the other side and no there weren't any more flavored peeps on the other side but there were peep merchandise peep merch <laughs> there was peep merch on the other side and there were plush peep toys and then little plastic peep bunnies with slime or something in them, Play-Doh slime. And then there was peep stationery. Peep stationery. I should have bought that, huh? It had little peep stickers and things in it. That would have made an awesome journal page. Uh, well, maybe I'll go back or maybe after Easter. It'll be on clearance if they have any left. We'll see. So I like the peep stationery. So then I just walked away. I said, okay, that's it. <laughs> I'll go back another time. Or maybe if they go on clearance, I'll, I'll get a few more. So what I plan to do today was to take the two different flavors that I bought and taste test them because I never had either one of those before. So I'm going to do a little taste test and then maybe in the comments below you can tell me if you like peeps or not. Are you a peep peep? <laughs> what flavors you like or maybe, you know, maybe your peep memories. Maybe you ate peeps when you were a kid or maybe you hated peeps when you were a kid. <laughs> so I just thought we'd have a little pre-Easter fun with yellow peep chicks yellow chick peeps yellow chick peeps <laughs> yellow chick peeps okay so um i'm gonna get tt out of the way here <laughs> so i can get out the food okay she's she's not too happy about getting put over there 
Um, yeah, let's go for the Dr. Pepper first. Because I have a feeling I like the chocolate. I put the journal in my lap so that she doesn't crawl into my lap, but she's trying. So I'm just going to open up the Dr. Pepper Peeps. And maybe I can use this packaging. I'm not really sure about this plasticky stuff. Or if I can even, excuse me, I'm reaching for scissors. Get this out what, without destroying the wrapper. Okay, we're gonna take them out one, one row of peeps at a time. <laughs> and they come with the little peeps. You know, the eyeballs are, sort of, <laughs> the eyeballs are off center. <laughs> <laughs> they look funny. Okay. Well, they have that reddish color like a Dr. Pepper, and I'm pulling that apart. First peep. Mm, let's see. <laughs> it smells like Dr. Pepper. No, you can't have that. Mmm. <laughs> it's not a strong Dr. Pepper flavor. It tastes mostly like a really fresh marshmallow with a little tiny sprinkle of Dr. Pepper in it. Mm. It's fun, different, different. But the, the flavor is very subtle. The flavor is very subtle. And like I said, I think the smell was stronger than the taste. Or maybe that helps with the taste. Mm. I'll just taste of some more. Marshmallow peeps. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll give it one thumbs up. It tastes like a peep, and not not a whole lot like Dr. Pepper. Just a little bit. Let's see if I can use that packaging for something. I usually never eat two <laughs> two peeps in a row. But, you know, <laughs> for science, I will do this. Okay, gotta get this one open. It was nice and fresh anyway. Now, I used to live not so far away from where they make these in Pennsylvania. Gluten-free. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Okay, this only comes with three, and it costs as much as the six. Well, this one's a little malformed. Oh, he's losing, he lost his beak. This one doesn't, this one over here doesn't have a, a beak. Hmm. The eyeballs are not as well done as they could be. This one does. This one... The one that doesn't have a beak's got good eyes, and the two that have beaks on them don't have very good eyes. So this is close up, it's reflecting on the light. There we go. See, he's got drippy eyes. Drippy eyes. It's, it's a four eye, it's a four-eyed chick. <laughs> it's a four-eyed chick. Oh. Okay, so let's see. See the chocolate on the bottom. Mm. It's a very, very thin, thin layer of chocolate. I 
Dark chocolate would have been better. I like dark chocolate. All I need is a graham cracker. <laughs> this one definitely needs a graham cracker. <laughs> and more chocolate. I mean, it's okay. It's different. It's fun. I, I do like this option. <laughs> it's easing her. It doesn't have a strong smell like the uh, Dr. Pepper did. I don't know if that's a decadent milk chocolate. It's milk chocolate. I'm going to eat this head. Mm. Nice and fresh. Although some people actually like stale peeps. Mm. They do. They like them a little stale and not all fresh and, you know, soft, squishy. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm not giving it two thumbs up. bottle of water in the other room. I need a drink. That's a lot of sugar. Um, and these are good. Like I said, not very strongly flavored, the Dr. Pepper ones. The eyeballs are all messed up on those. Oh. Where is the quality control? These are a little better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> fell out on my computer. Yeah, these are a little better with the eyes. They're off a little bit, but at least they kind of look like eyes. And this one, this guy here, he's totally deformed. <laughs> this one's not too bad. This is probably the best one. So maybe I'll use this one as a model to draw and I'll make a journal page. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, come on along. Well, of course, this little peep experiment is going to be journaled about in my spring journal. And I <laughs> I took the peeps out of the packaging, put them in a, a baggie in the kitchen, and I've gotten all these ideas already on what I want to do. And I know there's a page in here that has little peepers on it. I don't know how far back it was. There's the bunnies. There they are. So let's see. I was going to use the packaging for a pocket, but you know, this stuff is so hard to work with that I might save that for my junk journal, <laughs> my trashy. And I printed out the picture of the packaging. I thought that might be easier on this uh, lightweight cardstock. So I thought about making the pocket with the Dr. Pepper peeps and the journaling card with the marshmallow dipped in decadent milk chocolate peeps. Hmm. So all I need to do is, will that be enough to journal? Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. And then I was thinking I really want to draw some peeps. <laughs> but where would I put them? And then I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe I can put a little um, grommet up here with one of those little pins and, you know, make a bunch of little ones and hang it like a little, like a little peep dangle. Or, ooh, or I could do that on the journaling card itself. Put a hole there and put one of those little pins and have the little peeps hanging. And then when I put it in the pocket, you know, we can have them hanging there. Ooh, that might work. So first I am going to do the pocket because that'll take a while to dry. So 
I'm just trimming off the excess white over here. And this should be about six inches. Oh, that's why I had this ruler out. I keep losing my chicky page. Okay. So, yeah, that's just about six inches. So, I'm going to put that on there. I know this is a funny color for Easter, but it kind of almost matches these chicks over here, doesn't it? And then the yellow kind of goes with those lime green ones. Nothing has to match. <laughs> do these two pages match? Well, actually, they do. Because these are the colors, the lime green and the corals that are over here. I think they're from the same paper pack. I think, I think, I think. Now, I'm going to... Put a thumb hole there. Well, oh, <laughs> I cut off where it said peeps. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. I guess people get the idea. I keep losing my page. I have to put a clip on that. There we go. Yeah, I will probably use some beacon glue. I don't like that little pointy thing there. I'm going to take that off. Because I like extra strength for pockets. Okay, where's my page? Where's my page? All right, get the lid on the glue. All my clips have wandered off. I got one left. Here's the clips that Dolores had given me. Dolores J. Rush. Let this dry. Make sure it's all pressed down. Beacon glue usually does a really good job. And I'm going to work on the journaling card. And then I will journal. And then I will play around. See if I can make some little peeps to go on the top. I'm going to cut off the white. I think I will round the corners. And let's see how that'll fit in to the pocket. Perfect, perfect. Just like that. Um, I have those little yellow peeps from the Dollar Tree. I've got these, but I already got a whole bunch of peeps up there and peeps down here. I don't know. So I want to put something across the top. All right, I'm going to do my journaling and think about that. Well, I did a little bit more off camera than I planned. <laughs> I just started playing with different things anyway. Here's my tag, and I decided that this was kind of flimsy for a tag, so I added some scrapbook paper on the back, just some plain green scrapbook paper. I took a picture of the Dr. Pepper Peeps and put it there. I did some faux stitching around with a couple of different gel pens. I did my journaling down here. 
April 5th, so surprised at the variety of peeps at Walmart, I did a taste test, Dr. Pepper and Yellowwood Chocolate. Both get one thumbs up. And of course, that's the package of the yellow peeps with the chocolate. And this is going to go in the pocket. But before I do that, I want to make the, the dangle for the top of the pa uh, tag. I put a grommet on over there with my crop a dial so that's ready to go now I just have to do my peeps so the first thing I did was get, oh, <laughs> I'm losing my peeps was get out this uh, mixed media paper pad and I <laughs> well I was practicing drawing peeps as you can see on here but they were all too big so I had to make them smaller 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 until I got them down to a <laughs> a dangle size. So they're pretty small now. There we go. I made six tiny peeps so that they'll work well on a dangle and they're gonna be double-sided. That's why three are facing that way, <laughs> three are facing that one. So they'll go together like this. And I'm going to put a string in between and glue it. But I'm going to paint them first. And I was going to paint them different colors. Maybe six different colors. Or should I do three different colors? Anyway, we have to have a yellow peep. All right. We'll go with a yellow peep. So I have my very large <laughs> watercolor palette out. And let's see, so I'm going to start over here. I could probably zoom in a little bit. Hold on, here we go. This yellow is very fresh. I just took it out of the tube. I want that to have a little dimension. So I'm adding a little bit darker yellow. I um, might have to let that dry. This is just mixed media paper, so it'll only handle so much water. I guess I'll come back to that one. Okay, so one will be yellow. We'll let that dry. We'll play with it some more after. I might come back. Hmm. The eyes are chocolate, so maybe I can do the eyes in brown. I have to find a brown pen. And let's do a Dr. Pepper one, which is like a reddish brown. I heard somebody talking on TV about, um, oh, what do they call it? Birthday cake peeps. And I like, ooh, birthday cake peeps. Hmm, might have to look for that one. Might have to look for that one. Okay, so we got yellow, we got Dr. Pepper, and what colors are on the page? Green, beige, yellow, Dr. Pepper color. So maybe we'll throw in some kind of contrasting color. <laughs> Mix it up, why not? This looks like phthalo green or something. The uh, colors are on the box, but it's on the other side. So I'm not gonna bother, ooh, looking at that right now. Oh, that's dark, okay. Lighten them up, lighten them up. This new brush it does hold a lot of water. So that may be trouble for mixed media paper. Ooh, see? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. But no problem, no problem. So I remember at the flea market, it was last year or the year before, oh my gosh. I got um, a whole bunch of crochet 
crochet yarn, crochet thread. And I think I'm going to go down and see what colors I have because I don't believe I've really used that for anything yet. So I'm going to let these dry for a minute, come back, give them a second coat, but I'm going to run down to the magical basement. All right, I took my heat tool out and dried them a little more. So you can see how the watercolor dries a little bit lighter. I wonder if these things need some glitter Mod Podge. Hmm. Glitter Mod Podge or something, something. I'm trying to remember, I made a peep once before when my sister gave me peppermint peeps. And I wonder if I could find it in one of the journals. I started to do like an index for the journals, but I haven't finished it. Finished it. I think I think I only put one thing in there. But it's set up. Baby Possum helped me set it up. What flavor are these green ones? I don't know. Somebody was laughing when I call him Baby Possum. Because he's all grown up. <laughs> he's all grown up. But I figured... If I had a Mr. Possum, I had to have a baby possum. All right, now I'm going to let those dry again. I'm going to move my paints. I'm going to zoom out. And this is the color I brought up. It uh, looked a little darker down in the basement, for sure. But it might match... on the page. Okay. Well, it doesn't exactly match them, but it doesn't look bad with these colors. See, I thought it was more like that color downstairs, but in the light, it looks lighter, but that's okay. That's okay. We're all good. We're all good. So, I'm going to... Hmm, I don't want them too long. But I gotta tie them. I think these peeps need just a little bit of sparkle Mod Podge on them. They're not really dry, dry, but dry enough. Give them some chocolate eyes. This is a Pitt Artist Pen brush, B for brush. And it is, doesn't say what color. This is India ink, waterproof. It's num Oh, it's color 175. A little bit of a chocolate eye. There you go. Okay, let's see. Next, should we try the beacon glue? Okay, I'm going to take the crochet thread and I can always trim it off the bottom. I'm not worried about that. Alright, let's put glue on one. We'll do one. Do one. Do them all. <laughs> do one and all. I couldn't find the peep that I did. I know it was in a Christmas book. I didn't look real hard. I looked kind of fast, but 
you know, I really do need that spreadsheet, I think. I'm just dreading that it would take forever to do something like that. It reminds me too much of work. I think this beacon glue is just about done. All right. Oops. <laughs> oops. There's always oopses. Okay, now we want that coming up. We want this going down, and we want this all pressed together like that. Okay, one down. So this is the Dr. Pepper Peep. I can't see a sparkle. I see a sparkle down here. Got to catch the light. Dr. Pepper Peep. I have no idea what flavor this one is. But I like the color and the yellow original peep. Now the next part is attaching them to the tag, probably on this side. Okay, I'm just going to open these loops and put them through. Is that all I want to do? Probably. That seemed like the easiest way to do that. Okay, I am going to trim these a little bit. A little bit. Don't stick together. Everything is not quite dry. I did them under the heat tool for a second but I will let it dry overnight but I just wanted to show you how it would look and there are my three sparkly peeps I will let them finish drying but just just to get a look see let's stick them in the pocket now I might come back, you know me, and add something else to this page. I don't know, I was thinking about putting something across there, but I really do love these little peeps that are already on the page. So I don't know, this may be it. Although that's a big pocket, I could come back and put something else in the pocket. Oh, I know. If I get some more peeps, I can journal about them too. And just make another tag. Because I got lots of room here. I could stick a couple of things in that pocket. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. Wow. <laughs> that took me a while to do. I mean, it doesn't look like it did much, but it took me a while to do. So thanks for coming along today. Happy junk journaling. And don't forget to make a comment about peeps. Bye-bye.